Hi. In this video, I'll explain about Newton's third law of motion. It sounds very easy, but it has its complications. It states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In terms of forces, it means that if a body, like a box, is pressing down on a table with a force, then the table will press back on the box with an equal and opposite force. So it's all about forces. And Newton's third law leads to the concept of action and reaction pairs, which is not so straightforward. For example, the box is having a force, nothing but its weight, towards the center of the earth equal to mg. So does the box and the table form an action and reaction pair? No. The box attracts the earth with an equal and opposite force mg, believe it or not. Therefore, the box and the earth form an action and reaction pair. Now the table happens to be in between. So the table feels a force mg from the box and therefore the table pushes back on the box with a normal reaction force equal to n. And therefore n is equal to mg. So this is uh, quite complex and not so straightforward as we think it is. So always think which force is acting on me and then decide the motion. Now here we have a green colored box which is sitting on a horizontal plane. The robot is trying to push it. Now the green colored box has a weight mg towards the center of the earth. The earth is attracting the green box. The green box is attracting the earth back with a force mg. So the box and the earth form an action and reaction pair. Now the horizontal wooden plane seems to be between the box and the center of the earth, obviously. So the plane feels the force mg. So the plane pushes back on the green box at the bottom surface with a force equal to normal reaction n and n is equal to mg and you can see those little arrows the normal reaction is equally distributed all over the bottom surface of that green box so it's like a pressure so all these little forces add up to one single upward force represented by that pink arrow and that's a normal reaction so this is how the mechanism works. So we have to decide which system we are talking about. Now if you come to a more complex case, I am pushing a box forward with the force F, that pink arrow. So the box is moving forward. It's accelerating forward. The box pushes back on my hand with an equal and opposite force F. So that stops the application of Newton's third law as far as my hand and the box is concerned. In the vertical direction, you have the weight of the box as usual acting towards the center of the earth and you have the upward force normal reaction from the plane upward pushing the box back. That completes the vertical forces and you notice that N and W moved along with the box as the box was moving forward. Now the question is what about the friction force? So the friction force which is FR is in the surface between the box and the plane. So the box is to kind of trying to drag the plane forward so the plane will see a force which is opposite to FR and the box will see a force equal to those little blue forces. So if we decide the box as a system, I have written down F, FR and N. If you take the plane as a system, then you have the weight acting on it and the reaction to the friction force. So that way, the motion of the object will be decided by which forces are acting on them. So for any application of Newton's third law, in order to be clear on what will be the final motion of the objects, we have to isolate the object as a system and then write down the forces. Thank you and have a great day.